the teachers came up with it. Uh, they decided to think about what, what could we do that would bring in the dog print, the paw print, and it actually worked out really well. Um, it's a program that they decided they, we needed as a uh, school to develop a positive school climate, and that's pretty much how it began. This is, let's see if I can find the um, Tanya the Brazilians. Oh, there it is, Gribbling Memorial Acceptance Awareness. There's no bold book on it. That was our short list. Well, the PAUSE program is a program that uh, Ms. Keelan and I implemented when we became sister schools. Um, as it's the foundation of the cultures of our buildings, where um, most of our activities revolve around uh, positive things. Positive actions will shine, not only from students, but from staff, from administration, from parents. What we do is we, we looked at in terms of conflict. How can we teach students to deal with conflict in a positive way? How can we um, help them make good decisions? What are they passionate about? What do they enjoy? Finding the, looking at the child as a whole. Because we work with K through two students at Gribbling, it's an a unique opportunity for us to really get kids off to a good start in school. Um, as young children, we're looking to honor their uh, developmental levels and providing opportunities for them to adjust to school, learn how to regulate their behaviors, um, learn how to share, learn how to work together in teams, and we um, look for opportunities to celebrate that through our Paul's program. Sometimes when you're having a bad day, it can take one person to turn that around. It can just be that someone looks at you and says, are you okay? You know, do you, do you need help or, you know, do you just need to talk to someone? And that difference can really, you know, turn a student's day around, or their week around, and make them become more effective and more functional in school. Yeah, it's kind of instru instrumental in kind of like um, guiding them in their daily interactions between themselves, with adults, with parents. Um, it's giving them the skills, or the I like to think of it as the mindset about how do you treat others, how do you respect others, um, and immersing them in opportunities to practice those skills. No, it's something we created on our own. Um, we, there's value in having a character education program, so we wanted something that would work in our school. And I think that the PAUSE program does just that. So we actually looked at a lot of different programs, and when we started to look at all the different programs, there was nothing that actually met the needs of our students. What's nice about the program is it evolves. So if we see, for example, when we're looking at issues that the children or conflicts that the children are having, maybe for example, when they hit fifth grade, there are issues about their confidence level. There are issues about them getting along with their peers that might be unique to our building somewhat. So we then look at that and we see, okay, we're having a lot of um, situations that we need to address and we don't want it to get into a discipline situation. Every month, we have a book that we share. It's the book of the month between Gribbling and Memorial. And with that book, we teach a life lesson. So something that the kids will live by, and we turn it into a monthly challenge. So basically, uh, we have celebrity barkers. And what those students are, they're students that read the book, and I record them. And as they're reading the book, they also share the monthly challenge with the whole class, or the whole school, rather. Yes, PAWS have definitely left prints on our program. Um, we have, uh, for PAWS, I, I do a Lego club with my PAWS, and my Lego club is 
is a lot more special engineers than typical students and they build together and create together and they're only allowed one bag of Legos and they have to see what they can create in one hour with one bag of Legos and they, they help each other and um, this room has fostered that outside of the room. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like it, it's definitely fostered the help outside of the room, like the cooperation. There's natural relationships. Natural relationships that are formed because of the Paul's program. That you think wouldn't have been there without the Paul's program? Oh, no, no. I've worked in lots of schools where that is not, it's totally separate. The two are, the two entities are totally separate. Change in behavior since the program was Absolutely. Um, they are much more aware of what responsibility for themselves and others is. Uh, they um, talk to each other about it. They correct each other's behavior in a positive way. Um, instead of saying, I disagree with you, they'll say, I want to add on to what you have to say. And here's my thoughts on those things. Because of the pause program and because of the PTA staying the same, all of our dances, all of our programs, you know, all of our PTA programs are all between the two schools. There's nothing really PTA-wise that is exclusive. We're, we're, we're very strong sister schools. I'm very happy and very proud. I would say that the wonderful part about this is that everybody's on board. The teachers, the guidance counselor, parents, it's, it's all about all of us meeting the needs of kids. And I think that in today's day and age, and when it's where we're really trying to make the difference to get to know children well, to look at them every single day and say, what do these kids need? What can we do to help them? What, we, what can we do to make them feel better about themselves to be successful in school? I very much feel like with the K through two students, this is the opportunity where you get kids to love school. This, they're gonna be going for quite a while, hopefully. And we want them to love coming to school. We want them to feel like they can be successful. That means personalizing things for them, noticing when they need something and doing something about it. It's an amazing building to be in to see how natural and organic it is for our kids to just accept and love each other. And I think it is the pause program that does that. So you think it's a positive program? It's a very positive program. We just throw the paw in everything. We, we try. We have the Bow Wow Book Club. Okay, the, the uh, Paw House. This is the Bulldog Cafe. Top Bull Dog. Mm -hmm. Top Dog is Paws Patrol. The paw print that they earn, that's their incentive. 